Hello, my name is Emilio Millian, and I wish to welcome you to the Cisco CCENT certification class. In this video, we're going to be doing lab number one, and we're going to be configuring two routers with static routes. So let's begin. Obviously, we're going to have two routers, and we're going to connect them with the uh, serial cable from the serial interface zero on uh, router on the left, which would be router A, and we're going to connect it to the serial interface on the router on the right, which we will call router B. So let's take a look how we're going to connect to the routers. First of all, we have the PC that we're going to connect to the router A with the console cable. So the console cable is a serial cable that we connect to the console on router A. The next thing is we're going to connect the routers to each other using a uh, serial cable. So we have now the computer is connected to router A on the left and router A is connected to router B uh, using a serial cable. Now for my lab, I connected a serial cable to each of the routers to my PC so that I can connect uh, using hyperterminal. So you see on my desktop, hyperterminal, I started it and uh, I'm going to configure it. So I'm going to enter a name and this connection will be for router A. So I'm going to initially say cancel so that I can configure the um, COM ports to use. In this case, I'm going to use COM7 for router A. And I'm going to change the configurations to 9600 bits per second, 8 data bits, no parity, 1 stop bit, and I'm going to change the flow control to none. Click apply and OK. And now I'm going to press enter. And uh, you see that I'm connected to the router. Now it's prompting me if I want to round the initial configuration dialog. And I'm going to say no or just type N and press return. It says press return to get started. So the router is uh, starting. Now I'm going to configure the next router. So I'm going to change to my other window, which is uh, router B. And again, you see that it's prompting me whether I want to start the initial configuration dialog and I'm going to enter no or letter N.
so at this point I have connected my PC to both router A and B using a console cable and the two routers are connected to each other using a serial cable. Now I do have the uh, DCE end of the cable on router A and the uh, the end that is labeled DT DTE is connected to router B on the right side. Now let's look at the hyper terminal windows and uh, I'm going to start uh, configuring router A. So I click on the router A window to bring it to the to the top and the first thing you notice is that uh, it's waiting for me. The prompt is uh, flashing, and right now I am at the user uh, user level. And how do I know? It's because of the the uh, prompt. You notice that uh, there is a um, right uh, angle or um, greater than uh, sign and that tells me that I'm at the user level so I need to go into the configuration level and I need to type enable now you notice the uh, the sign over here has changed to a, a pound sign and that tells me that now I'm in in the uh, uh, privilege mode. From the privilege mode, now I need to get into the global configuration mode. And for that, I need to type the command configure terminal. And you can abbreviate by just put uh, config T, or you can write terminal and press enter. Now you notice again that now the word config is uh, included in the prompt and that tells me that now I am in the configuration mode. So the first thing we're going to do is for this router here we're going to change the host name and we're going to do that using the command host name and then the name that we want to assign. So I'm going to call it router A. Now you notice now that the name immediately changed from router to router A and it still leaves me at the configuration level. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the serial interface. So I issue the command interface serial and no, now notice that the prompt has changed by displaying config-if for interface. Now I'm going to assign an IP number to that interface. So I'm going to type IP address 192.168.1.1 space and I'm going to type the um, mask. In the mask you don't need to type the word mask just go ahead and type the number which is 255.255.255.252 and then press enter now we're gonna set the clock rate 
on router A for the serial connection by putting the command clock rate and we're going to set it to 64,000. Press enter. The next thing is right now the uh, the connection is down by default and we need to bring it up. And we bring it up by typing the command no shutdown. So go ahead and type no shutdown, press enter. And that will bring it up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure the uh, loopback. Now you notice now that the router is displaying a message that is uh, shutting down the, the interface to down. Now it needs to shut it down in order to bring it up. So we're going to configure the interface uh, loopback, interface loopback, and the first one is loopback zero, and we're going to configure an IP address, IP address. And the IP number for the loopback would be 172.16.1.1 with a mask of 255.255.0.0. Press enter. Now we're going to configure interface loopback number one like we did with the first interface we issue the command interface loopback one now remember that we start counting with zero so this will be loopback number one press enter and we're going to assign the IP address to loopback number one so we say IP address And that's going to be 172.20.1.1 with a mask of 255.255.0.0. Press enter. And we're going to press uh, Control Z. And that. Uh, is how we start the configuration of router A. Now we're going to go to router B. So we're going to do the